a cheerful good morning and a very warm welcome to each and every one of you present today in the science class as all of us know that <coughs> we are little bit behind our syllabus that is in this month we have to start with the next chapter but as we have already discussed in the last class that is due to some unavoidable reasons due to some of the holidays which has come in between we were not able we are not able to complete our syllabus on time but still we are not lacking behind because as you know that uh, the three chapters which is there or it will be better if I show you here but before going that let me again remind you the same thing that is uh, the number of COVID cases are not uh, <clears throat> declining as it was happening few months back sorry not few months few weeks back okay just after this Diwali and when the winters have approached okay the cases they are fluctuating at a very e uh, uneven manner because all of us we know that this rate should have been declining as per the schedule but due to some unavoidable reasons or maybe due to some uh, favorable conditions for this virus some days the <coughs> number of cases they are very very high in some days it is very very low as well so we cannot say whether it is declining or it is rising so it's better to be on a much safer part and let us take all the necessary precautions so that you as well as your family and us hope for the best okay think about all the things best things and thereafter go ahead with our day-to-day -day life activities okay and starting with our today's class without any delay first and the foremost thing i'll be sharing you the syllabus and thereafter we will be uh, we will be going ahead with the today's class okay so uh, sharing the syllabus to you as you know here okay if you uh, first and the foremost thing i would like to show you this thing if you remember these two are the chapters that is your periodic test 2 which is going to be held either in december or in the month of january first week okay so <clears throat> these two chapters we have already finished and i hope that you all would have started the revision of this you all would have started learning the question answers objective types and everything so that you don't have to worry about at the time of the examinations okay so <clears throat> since we have already completed this part and we are on the third chapter that is rocks and minerals if you remember uh, of which only two topics are left and thereafter we will be going ahead with the bookish exercises as well as the fair notebook part okay and if you can see here from december to january that is these three chapters that is the sun the earth and the moon changes in our environment as well as the natural disasters the last chapter of this session has to be done in two months that is from december to january as in the feb or in march we will be having our annual examinations so i request all of you we have two months so we'll be doing it in a much more easier manner okay without any worry or without in going in a very much faster way in a hurry way so let us start with today's class <laughs> What I remember is that in the last class we have done till here that is we have discussed this part that is as coal petroleum and natural gas are formed that is we have discussed about the petroleum coal how they are being formed as well as about the natural gases. So today we are going to start that is how this uh, <clears throat> basically your fossil fuels they are helping us as a fuel. In the previous uh, one we have rocks as resources so basically there were three parts were there fossil fuels sorry that is fuels metals as well as the third part that is the gemstone so first part we have completed the fuels second part that is the metals we are going to start today and let us complete it so when we are talking about the metals okay so we have when whenever we are talking about the metals always remember from this class i am telling you that is from class fifth up to class 8 please remember one thing that is 
whenever you will talk about any kind of metals okay so always remember that metals are always shiny okay unko lustrous hum bolte hain that is they are always shiny and they are good conductors of heat as well as electricity and at the same time they are ductile or sonorous okay that is they produce ringing sound okay jaise ye plastic hai okay if you remember this is a plastic this your <coughs> this one mm, white now okay this is having a plastic container so if you will do it like this so you are able to see something a sound which is quite thick enough okay whereas if you take change the container here basically when I, we are talking about okay so if you take this part okay this is what this is one of the bowl which is made of metals now you try to hear the sound in this case okay okay so this is a kind of ringing sound or the bell which you hear in your schools as well that is also the sound of a metal which is known as sonorous or it is the last property that is ductile when we are talking about the ductility or ductile property it means each and every metal can be drawn into thin wires okay that is why our electrical wires they are made up of either aluminium copper or even sometimes silver as well but very less we find it silver as it is too expensive or very costly okay so starting with the metals let us see what has been given here okay we get metals from minerals present in the rocks the minerals rich rocks from which we obtain metals are called ores now always remember ores kya hote hain ores hamesha mixture hote hain theek hai matlab ye jo bhi metals hamare nature mein paaye jate hain ye kabhi pure form mein nahi paaye jate hain ye generally kisi na kisi cheez ke sath मिक्स रहते हैं और इसीलिए सबसे पहले हमें इन्हें अलग करना पड़ता है तभी हमें प्योर मेटल मिलता है जैसे गोल्ड जब हमें मिलता है ठीक है माइनिंग एक्टिविटीज या फिर कहीं पे भी तो गोल्ड प्योर गोल्ड ऐसे ही चमकता हुआ गोल्ड हमें नहीं मिल जाता है इट इज देयर विथ अ लॉट ऑफ मिक्सचर प्रेजेंट इन इट फिर धीरे धीरे हम क्या करते हैं उन मिक्सचर्स को अलग कर देते हैं एंड वी सेपरेट गोल्ड एंड देन वी यूज इट फॉर आइदर फॉर मेकिंग द ज्वेलरी पर्पजेस और मेकिंग फॉर बिस्किट्स ब्रिक्स और एनी लाइक दैट ओके next we have here is that is the <coughs> for example we obtain iron from its ores that is your hematite and magnetite okay we obtain aluminium from its ore bauxite theek hai jaise aluminium jo hame milta hai to wo directly aluminium nahi milta hai uska jo ore rehta hai uska naam hai bauxite okay fir wahan se hum aluminium ko alag kar dete hain by different kinds of chemicals process aur isko hum bolte hain metallurgy एक अभी को मुझे क्लिक हुआ मैं आपको बता देता हूँ ओके दिस प्रोसेस ऑफ सेपरेटिंग द मेटल्स फ्रॉम देयर ओर्स इज नोन एज मेटलर्जी इस प्रोसेस को हम बोलते हैं मेटलर्जी मतलब बहुत सारे रिफाइनिंग इवेपोरेशन ये जितने भी आप लोगों ने प्रोसेस पढ़े हैं इसमें से भी कुछ प्रोसेस उसमें होते हैं ठीक है तो सभी प्रोसेस का कंबाइंड इफेक्ट मिल करके फिर क्या होता है पूरा का पूरा रिफाइन जैसे पेट्रोलियम और कोल का रिफाइनिंग आपने पढ़ा है कि पेट्रोल को रिफाइन करते हैं तो पेट्रोल डीजल पैराफिन वैक्स और ये सारी चीज़ें मिलती हैं ठीक उसी तरीके से हम इन चीज़ों का भी रिफाइनिंग करते हैं मेटल्स के ओर का भी रिफाइन करते हैं तब जा करके हमें वो प्योर मेटल ऑप्टेन होता है आयरन के केस में जैसे हीमाटाइट एंड मैग्नेटाइट के फॉर्म में प्रेजेंट होता है आयरन इन द सेम वे एल्यूमिनियम के केस में इट इज प्रेजेंट इन द फॉर्म ऑफ बॉक्साइट ओके स्टार्टिंग विद दिस और गोइंग अहेड विद दिस वी यूज मेटल्स टू मेक यूटेंसिल्स मशीन्स वायर्स जस्ट नाउ आई टोल्ड यू इफ यू रिमेंबर दिस प्रॉपर्टी ऑफ मेटल्स टू गेट कन्वर्टेड इन टू वायर्स इज नोन एज डक्टिलिटी कॉइन्स एंड एयरक्राफ्ट एज वेल मेटल्स सच एज गोल्ड एंड सिल्वर आर यूज टू मेक ज्वेलरी ओके सो दिस वॉज दिस पार्ट दैट इज हाउ दिस फॉसल फ्यूल इज एक्टिंग लाइक अ रिसोर्स बाई प्रोवाइडिंग अस विथ वेरियस काइंड ऑफ मेटल्स ओके with this one the last one that is the last resource which we are obtaining from these rocks and minerals or from these uh how rocks are acting like a resources so here it is basically that is when we are talking about the gemstones that is your sapphire topaz ruby and various others are also there okay when we are talking about this to <coughs> आपने देखा भी होगा कि जनरली हिंदू रिचुअल्स में ये ज्यादा होता है 
कि आप साधु लोगों को देखते हैं कि वो बहुत सारे माला पहने रहते हैं तो कुछ स्फटिक के होते हैं कुछ रुद्राक्ष के होते हैं कुछ पोखराज होते हैं ठीक है और इस तरीके के पता नहीं कितने हैं अनगिनत हैं ठीक है डायमंड इज ऑल्सो वन ऑफ दम ओके जेम वो भी आपके कोयले में ही मिल जाता है ओके सो दैट इज ऑल्सो वन ऑफ द प्रीशियस रिसोर्स ओनली so in the same way here when we are talking about so the sapphire topaz and ruby all these are the gem stones that is the very precious stones which are found in these rocks only now when we are talking about the gem stones so let us have a reading of them okay these gem stones are precious rocks that are cut and polished to make jewelry diamond emerald ruby sapphire topaz and opal are some examples of the gem stones okay so now in this way you can see that is how our rocks they are acting like a resources by providing three things okay that is first by acting like a fuel providing us your coal petrol diesels and everything and secondly acting like uh, your uh, giving us various kinds of metals which are used in our day to day life activities especially iron ओके okay, क्योंकि आप मैक्सिमम चीजें देखते हो आपके आसपास जितनी चीजें होती हैं वो मैक्सिमम आयरन की ही बनी होती हैं ओके okay? आपके जितने कंस्ट्रक्शन होते हैं घर के उसमें भी सबसे पहला मटेरियल आपका आयरन ही लगता है छण रॉड ओके बार्स उसको हम बोलते हैं बी ए आर ओके दैट इज द आयरन बार्स वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट वो वाले बार की बात नहीं कर रहा हूँ ओके नेक्स्ट मूविंग हेड विद दिस जेम स्टोन वॉज द थर्ड एंड द लास्ट in which rocks are acting like our resources moving ahead with the last portion that is how importance is uh, what is the need for importance to conserve or what is the need for conserving these fossil fuels it took millions of years for coal and petroleum to form inside the earth the earth has a limited supply of these fossil fuels but we are using them at such a fast rate That they will soon get exhausted. अगर आपको याद हो तो मैंने लास्ट क्लास में आप लोग को कुछ सस्टेनेबल यूज ऑफ रिसोर्स के बारे में बताया था सस्टेनेबल डेवलपमेंट के बारे में बताया था सो देर वॉज नथिंग दैट इज हियर बेसिकली इट वॉज दैट इज सिंस द टाइम टेकन बाई दीज रिसोर्सेज वेदर इट इज कोल और पेट्रोलियम इज मिलियंस ऑफ ईयर्स ऐसा नहीं एक दिन दो दिन एक महीने एक साल में ये लोग बन करके तैयार हो जाएंगे नो नॉट एट ऑल so since they take millions of years to form okay that is why it is very important for us to preserve them to uh, make judicious use of it okay because we are using it at a such a faster rate that is uh, we don't know that uh, when this resource may get exhausted okay why because the rate of uses of this resource is much more higher than the rate at which it is डिप्लीटेड और रिन्यूड दैट इज हिंदी में अगर बोले तो जितना जल्दी ये बन रहा है उससे ज्यादा जल्दी इसको हम लोग यूटिलाइज कर रहे हैं दैट इज वाई वी आर फोकसिंग मच ऑन द डिफरेंट काइंड ऑफ रिन्यूएबल सोर्सेस ऑफ एनर्जी इसीलिए हम ज्यादातर मैक्सिमम क्या कर रहे हैं रिन्यूएबल सोर्सेस ऑफ एनर्जी का यूज कर रहे हैं लाइक सन इज देयर विंड इज देयर एंड वाटर इज देयर ओके क्योंकि ये ऐसी चीजें हैं जो खत्म होने वाली नहीं है I'm not talking about the ground water okay I'm talking about the running water which is flowing on the surface of the earth rivers ocean seas okay whereas wind theek hai usse hum kaise electricity generate kar le solar power panels sun and everything okay so this is our basic motto that is we have to use this renewable jisko hum bar bar use kar sakte hain okay but petrol and diesels as well as the coal once they get exhausted it is very difficult for us to Uh, get it back or to renew it very quickly okay so let us start with this part uh, let us go ahead with this once these fuels are used up we may have to wait for millions of years to get more therefore we must not only use these resources wisely but also reduce their use as much as possible we should use other sources of energy such as the sun and the wind which are unlimited natural sources of energy i hope this part is uh, clear to each and everyone kyunki maine abhi sari cheeze aapko explain kar di hai okay now again the same questions are there theek hai uh, starting bahut pehle hui thi theek hai uh, i don't think you all are very small enough ki aapko spoon feeding ki zarurat hai theek hai 
कि सब चीज़ें मैं आपके सामने एकदम से दे दूं आप ओपन करो और बस कॉपी में उतार लो ठीक है यू ऑल्सो हैव योर ओन सेंस यू ऑल्सो हैव योर ओन ब्रेन सो प्लीज डू नॉट आस्क मी दिस क्वेश्चन कि सर प्लीज डिफाइन द फॉलोइंग टर्म्स दे दीजिए वट डू यू मीन बाई दे दीजिए ऑलरेडी यू हैव इट देन ऑल्सो यू वॉन्ट मी टू गिव यू वाई ओके आई हैव टोल्ड यू दैट सिंस आई हैव already uploaded all the chapters okay in pdf format in each and every e content that is whatever you the learning app has been provided to you in e learning already you have that chapter just open that chapter go to the last page and you'll be able to find this one okay just the need is there in place of keywords you just have to write it down define the following terms okay that is only two are there that is your fossils and your fossil fuels that is fossil remains of dead plants or animals from the past preserved in rocks see that is buried in rocks fossil fuels fuels obtained from the decayed remains of dead plants and animals okay so these are your define the following terms i hope nobody is going to ask me the same questions so please do this part okay now let us have the bookish exercises one more thing i would like to tell you uh, which i was supposed to tell you in the last but just now i got click in my br uh, brain regarding that so i'm telling you now only one of the students from samnegat you asked me that uh, you are facing some kind of difficulties in understanding this chapter so you requested me to have the zoom classes i don't have any problem in the zoom classes next coming tuesday okay that is tomorrow we will be having the zoom class and we will be having the revision of our chapter rocks and minerals so i request you to please be ready so that with all your doubts i will try my level best to solve each and every queries and request all of you to please maintain discipline in there otherwise i am not going to take the zoom classes it is of no use all right if you want a healthy interaction if you want a healthy discussion you'll have to maintain silence as well as you ha will have to follow the decorum you will have to follow the disciplines okay moving ahead with this let us start with our bookish part okay first we will be doing that one okay thereafter we'll be going ahead if you remember this one we have already done i told you what is written in this form okay this is your basically get set i'm just showing you the <coughs> answers as well simultaneously okay so uh, this is basically that is you are too hard on me this is the meaning of that which is letter in uh, which is written in symbolic language moving ahead with checkpoint page number 25 okay in this case that is page number 25 when we are going ahead we have this one checkpoint what are the following called the molten rock inside the earth now just please do not forget the molten rock is present both inside as well as outside for a short moment of time outside for a longer period of time inside so inside when we are talking about so we are talking about the magma whereas when we are talking about outside so we are talking about the lava so it is talking about molten rock inside the earth so this rock is known as your magma moving ahead the rock that can float on water if you remember here we have discussed that is <coughs> pumice is the rock which can float on water because if you remember pumice rock has a lot of holes present in it i'm showing you that here igneous rocks okay see here pumice rock has a lot of holes present uh, present in it as a result of which it is very light in weight and due to its light weight it is able to float on the surface of water okay 
moving ahead with the next one that is the mineral present in the sandstone okay so sandstone if you remember you don't have it here okay that was a type of sedimentary rocks okay sandstones so this sandstone contains the mineral which is known as quartz so the answer for your third one is quartz okay moving ahead with the next one last one the metamorphic rock formed from shale so that is your slate metamorphic rock formed from shale is your slate all right so in this way we have completed this one that is the checkpoint given on page number 25 now let us start with the bookish exercises that is your take the correct answer in this you what you are able to see here is that is the very first one what is the hot molten rock that comes out on the surface of the earth now see here the question has been changed there it was talking about inside the surface of the earth here it is which comes out on the surface of the earth so that is your lava that is a part okay which of these is an igneous rocks okay when we are talking about the igneous rocks so if you remember these are the first types of your rocks that is formed from the heat and the basically <coughs> uh, heat and pressure okay heat and temperature or uh, heat and pressure so let us have a quick view of that okay i'm showing you the igneous rock formation see here this is the igneous rocks okay basically and the first igneous rocks was your granite only if you remember okay so this is the first or it is the most common type of your igneous rocks so in this way this answer will be your granite will be the correct answer that is your b part okay first one is a second one is b next one which of these rocks can float on water just now we have done that is pumice so third one is also b which of these minerals is commonly present in sandstone just now discussed that is your quartz okay number four that is c okay number four c last one which of these products is not obtained from petroleum natural gas is the product which is not obtained from petroleum okay because petrol diesel kerosene paraffin wax and everything they all are obtained from petroleum only okay so the correct option is d last one moving ahead with fill in the blanks <coughs> starting with here that is rocks are made up of minerals the first one when the magma cools down slowly under the earth surface it forms granite okay that is basically the igneous rocks only or granite only okay next we have here dentist use powdered pumice okay powdered pumice rocks only okay because they are very easier softer that is why they are able to use it okay so they use this pumice powdered rock for polishing the teeth next is limestone is a form of dash rock if you remember limestone is a type of sedimentary rock let me show you that as well okay if you can see in the case of sedimentary rocks we have limestone as one of them along with conglomerate sandstone and your shale okay moving ahead in this one okay coal and petroleum are called fossil fuels all of us we know okay next one we have complete the series so in case of complete the series first two are given to here that is pumice is an example of a igneous rock so shale is the example of a shale is the example of if you remember just now we have discussed metamorphic rocks okay sedimentary rocks sorry okay metamorphic is your slate which is formed from shale okay so pumice is for igneous rock pumice is a type of igneous rocks whereas shale is a type of sedimentary rocks limestone and marble okay they are a type of your sedimentary rocks whereas granite as well as pumice you can have here okay or you can also have knees here let us see here okay sand is knees only okay second one is your that is granite and gneiss these are these are the examples of your igneous rocks whereas limestone and marble sedimentary rocks shale 
giving rise to slate in the case of metamorphic rocks and here if you remember that is <clears throat> your uh, sandstone that is the mineral quartz sandstone giving rise to quartzite if you remember sandstone contains the mineral quartz which gets converted into quartzite i told you how to remember also quartz is common ite you just have to add it this is metamorphic quartz is the mineral present in the sandstone which is a sedimentary rock iron ore is hematite aluminium is for bauxite okay gold is a metal diamond is a gemstone okay bauxite and gemstone let me first do the uh, <clears throat> this part that is do and learn and thereafter we'll be going ahead with the question answers i hope we have some time right we have some time so the rocks are formed by the cooling of lava or magma okay if you remember these rocks are known as your igneous rocks whereas the next one we have here the rock used in the construction of roads when we are talking about the roads that is your basalt okay next down when we are moving this thick black liquid is found deep underground and can be refined to obtain many products that is your petroleum okay next we have this rock is mostly made of the mineral quartz sandstone this sedimentary rock is used as a fuel okay sedimentary rock when we are talking about so the sedimentary rock is coal here okay that's it for the brookish part now if we go ahead with the question answers so we have the first one right short answers here what are the three types of your igneous rocks okay so the three types of igneous rocks are if you remember the first one was granite second one followed by uh, your pumice and nice as well i'm showing you that fair notebook exercises okay let me close this one and make it the full screen okay so granite basalt and pumice are the three types of your igneous rocks moving ahead with the next name three types of sedimentary rocks so slate sandstone and limestone are the three types of sedimentary rocks last what are gemstones so gemstones are the precious rocks that are cut and polished to make jewelry diamond emerald ruby sapphire topaz and opal are some examples of them next one we have the e part if you can see both the things together because don't get confused that i'm directly coming on to here no okay so these three are there in the right shot the answers answer these questions explain the formation of metamorphic rocks give some examples of igneous and sedimentary rocks that change to metamorphic rocks okay so sometimes heat and pressure may cause igneous and sedimentary rocks to change into different rocks known as metamorphic and they look different from the parent that is your igneous rocks metamorphic rocks are also harder and stronger than the parent one limestone changes to marble shale changes to slate granite changes to gneiss and sandstone changes to quartzite okay next how is petroleum formed okay next one name the different products that we obtain from refining petroleum petroleum or crude oil is a thick black liquid found deep inside the earth usually between layers of sedimentary rocks petroleum is formed from the remains of dead plants and animals in the sea millions of agars these remains got buried in layers in the seabed over the years heat and pressure changed them to petroleum it is refined to obtain a number of products such as petrol diesel petroleum gas kerosene and lubricating oil as well number 3 that is why should coal and petroleum be used carefully how can we conserve just now we have discussed because they are take millions of years to form it took millions of years for coal and petroleum to form inside the earth it has limited supply but we are using it at a faster rate which may make them exhausted once they are used up it will take millions of years and we cannot wait for them okay that is why we must not use these fields wisely but also reduce their use as much as possible we can use resources such as sun and the wind which are unlimited and natural last part that is your think and answer can fossil fuels be found in the metamorphic rocks okay metamorphic rocks may sometime contains fossil if they were formed from sedimentary rocks 
however it is very rare as fossils are usually damaged as they do not survive extreme heat and pressure last part what would happen to life on the earth when all the fossil de fuel deposits get exhausted all power plants that use coal to function will shut down leading to serious shortage of electricity maine ye aapko bataya bhi tha ki agar sare coal mines band hum kar dein coal ka uh, mining band kar dein coal nikalna band kar dein theek hai to hame electricity ki shortage hogi because maximum utilization of coal is done for the production of electricity okay basically in the nuclear reactors as well in the next part all forms of transportation that depend on petrol diesel and electricity would shut down kyunki electricity milegi nahi band okay petrol diesel waise nahi milega kyun kyunki ye fossil fuels khatam ho chuke hain this would affect the transportation of essential goods to and fro from different parts of the world there will be shortage of food and other basic supplies all industries that use coal and petroleum would also shut down okay so in this way if you would have understood how important are these fossil fuels and why we need to conserve them why we need to use them very judiciously okay and i hope you are going to do that if you are not going to do i am not going to be at a loss because already my half of the life has been passed i still have a half more but you have your full life to pass so if you want to have the same enjoyment please use the resources judiciously use bicycles use renewable sources of energy as much as possible okay this was all for today please complete your fair notebooks i'll be providing you all these things in your school app either today or tomorrow please try to complete it tomorrow don't forget we'll be having the zoom classes so please be ready with your doubts and at the same time please maintain the decorum okay that's all for today thanks a lot for being with me have a superb day ahead thank you